Hello, 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 Gemini Cancer. Welcome to your reading. So today we're going to take a look at your past life or a past life. Um, and we are going to figure out who you were and how that is affecting you now. So keep in mind that the past life that is going to show up is going to be the most uh, relevant for you at this moment. And keep in mind that this is a general reading. So you may want to check out your individual elements if this one doesn't resonate. And definitely smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already and it does resonate. There is going to be a link below for a private reading. And we do have uh, a five-year journal in case you're interested in doing a little self-care that way. Uh, it's full of very uh, lighthearted and also reflective prompts. So link is going to be down below. It's the first thing you see in the description box. And yeah, oh, that is interesting. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh my God. So we have over here Gemini Cancer. So maybe you were actually a Gemini and Cancer too in a past life. But before we get into your traits, let's pull here some time periods and places, hopefully one of each, <laughs> um, that were significant for you in this past life. So we have the second industrial revolution or the technological um, revolution, 1869 to 1914. Let's see here. We have North America. Look at that. Very nice. And we also have uh, World War II. So it's interesting because this could actually have been not necessarily when you were born and when you died. It, it, did, it didn't have to be. Um, but um, I do feel like you lived through these two phases, through these two uh, time periods, and they were very likely very significant for you. Um, but yeah, so let's pull here some traits that we already have. Uh, you could have actually been a doctor, so you could have actually uh, gone to help on that war as a doctor. We do have healer, we have family, gifts, tattoos and piercings, look at you. And we also have travel. Oh yeah, so again, if you were uh, from North America, maybe you did went to World War II uh, to fight there to help um, the Allies. But uh, I do feel like you were very adventurous actually. I feel like you were also very kind because like you have that beautiful, well, Gemini Cancer energy that you are now. So um, it's very interesting that that is showing up again, um, that you know you had the same energy because I feel like you were so connected with who you truly are right now. You know, I feel like this past life is important because it's part of your path and it's part, this past life is part of your history here. It's part of who you are now. It's part of your story now, your journey now, this lifetime. And I definitely feel like with this healer and gifts, you could actually have healing gifts. Um, I don't necessarily see it as like in a spiritual way. I do feel like you were very gifted when it came to like a uh, profession. And I do feel like people would feel very calm with you. I feel like people would feel very, I don't know, centered and helped, you know, even if all you did was talk, even if... All you did, well, maybe you were actually like a psychologist or whatever, um, you know, something like that. But I feel like even just your pure presence and just by them feeling heard by you, they would feel so calm and they will feel really um, blessed by having you in their life and by you showing up in their life at that moment and time and period. Um, with that tattoos and piercings, you did not have to have tattoos and piercings, but I do feel like you were uh, quite creative. And honestly, I feel like you, um, I feel like you like to express yourself maybe in a different way than it was understood at the time. So maybe you were with that creativity, maybe you were very artistic and you would express yourself through music. Um, maybe, you know, healer and gifts, maybe you actually had creative gifts that were healing through music, through something like that. And I definitely feel like, um, people and honestly I do feel like family was important to you but maybe family didn't always understand you and I feel like you were so I feel like honestly I feel like you were underrated um by the people around you because I even feel like sometimes you kind of had um this travel is giving me sad energy um and sad is the ruler of the ninth house of philosophy and uh, ideals and everything and I feel like sometimes you had some points of view, some perspectives on life that weren't fully understood by other people. I feel like you were kind of a little bit ahead of your time. And 
not everyone would understand you. And I feel like it was tough because it was the people closest to you. I feel like other people at your work or people that you would, I don't know, strangers in the street, they would actually pay attention to you. I feel like they would feel so good around you that they would pay attention. But I feel like there was someone in your life that didn't really understand that and they would kind of play you small, you know? They, they wouldn't, I feel like they, they couldn't give you what you truly deserve, to be honest. Um, has understanding, you know? Um, but let's see here what we have. Oh yeah, oh, it was definitely family. So in the family, we actually have this uh, devil card, the Capri Capricorn energy. Um, and I definitely feel like your family did not understand who you were. Your family did not understand um, what you were saying and everything. By the way, uh, so we have over here, we have um, five of pentacles and we also have the wheel of fortune here. This is going to indicate uh, your gender at the time. And I do feel like there was, um, I feel like there is a lot of like masculine energy, uh, but honestly, I kind of feel like this could be both ways. I kind of feel like you could have been a female with a lot of masculine energy, but you could also be a masculine with a lot of feminine energy, you know? So uh, that's a little bit uncertain there, <laughs> but we do have the queen of swords here. So I'm going to guess that you were a feminine, um, a female, a woman with a lot of masculine energy. Um, and I feel like that's even why people would look up to you so much, you know, maybe you would kind of defend women's rights and everything. And your family was like, bro, what you're doing, what you're saying. And people would actually look up to you. Maybe other women would actually look up to you a lot and be like, oh my God, that is so true. We deserve that, you know? Um, and I feel like you would, I feel like you had this gift of like grabbing other people's attentions and cause like the way you would put words out there. That was a gift. That was a pretty amazing gift that you had. And I feel like the people that did not like that, your family, they wanted to keep you trapped. They wanted to keep you small. And when I say family, is the family that you were born into because the family that you created, um, honestly, I'm, I'm not sure if you created any family, but we'll get into that. Um, because I feel like the family that you created or your friends and everything, they were actually pretty um, pretty awesome. Um, but I do feel like you were very straightforward and you were not afraid to speak your mind. I feel like you were, again, this queen of swords with that travel, that sad energy is giving you that vibe. Of, like you were so ahead of your time. People would be amazed by your thoughts and they were inspired by you, to be honest. And so, um, I really feel like that also portrayed to your career with this four of pentacles. Uh, oh wait, actually, I'm talking and I forget to take the oracle, <laughs> but, uh, talking already about that four of pentacles a little bit, I do feel like, uh, that also helped you a lot in your career because it's like, you knew how to stand your ground. You knew your power, you knew the power of your voice and you were not afraid to use it. And people knew that people saw that and they would, they would admire you even more for it, you know? So for who you were, yeah, we have balance and we also have, um, enlightened. So, uh, enlightenment in this case. So I, I do feel like you were full of stamina, full of power. And there is that wisdom over there. And that thing of like people looking up to you, not everyone would love it, but people really are looking up to you. And I feel like you brought a different perspective. Um, I feel like you broke a lot of generational curses in your family. And that's why your family didn't totally appreciate you. Um, because they wanted to have control over you. They wanted you to, to, to do what they wanted. They wanted you to follow the normal path, you know, what you were supposed to do um, as a woman at the time. And I really feel like you were listening to yourself and that was enough. That, that was the thing that you needed to go through. You know, I feel like you were your biggest supported, supporter, you were your biggest um, motivator as well. And I really feel like you believed truly in your beliefs and you would fight for them. And I actually feel like one of your accomplishments here with the death is that you were not afraid to change the world. You were not afraid to be bold and to speak your mind. And that is something that is supporting you in this lifetime. You know, you were so powerful and that power is still within you. That power is still available for you to use is still available for you to 
look into and dive into it and speak your mind. Don't be afraid to make waves. Your past self was not afraid to make waves. And that is still within you. You know, you have this, I even feel like you have this untapped power in you. Um, this lifetime, in the past life, you were tapping into it like all the time. But this lifetime, I feel like there is a little bit of an insecurity um, of like your voice not mattering and it actually does matter and it is needed. Okay, so don't be afraid to put it out there because you have a lot to talk about and it needs to be heard, okay? So that is something that is coming through. But let's take a look at this career. So, ooh, with, um, oh yeah, <laughs> oh my God. So for Pentacles, we have self-love. So there is definitely this energy of possibly like defending women's rights or something like that. Um, and I mean, we also have self-love with that healer and the gifts um, and we have fruition we have creation so I feel like you were actually pretty happy with what you did um, I feel like you were people would go to you to ask for advice so again either you were a doctor a, a physician I don't know whatever um, people really admire you and they were really leaning on you and I feel like you actually made people feel better not only um, not only physically, if you were a doctor, a, a physical, you know, a doctor that takes care of the physical body, um, I feel like just your essence, and it's like you were blunt and you would speak your truth, but I feel like you had such a good humor that people would be amazed and would, they would feel so happy. They were like coughing, dying, and they were like, huh, you're funny, thank you for making my day, you know? I feel like you were just like bring so much light and um, happiness to people's lives that I feel like that was also part of your gratification in your career. It's like, you knew you had the power, you knew people would look up to you, so that was obviously great, but just the fact that you were seeing people's smiles on their faces, you know, I feel like that was truly what made your day. I feel like that was truly what um, would make you fall in love with your career, you know? And I really feel like you were, um, I feel like you were in your power. I really feel like you were. One thing that, you know, your struggles here is the Seven of Pentacles and it's something that is still affecting you um, in this lifetime. It's something that you need to break free from. And it's giving me this vibe of like, um, it's interesting because it, it, it has this energy of patience, but I almost feel like it's not about patience with yourself, with your dreams, because you did have that perseverance I feel like it's patience with other people. Like maybe there were some people that kind of needed to transform a little bit, that kind of needed to step forward. And it's like, oh, you can't give that to me now? Okay, I'm out, you know? And maybe some people just need a little bit of time to kind of step into their power or to change, transform, you know? You, you went through that transformation very easily. You went out of this cycle uh, with your family very, very easily, but when it came to trusting that other people would do the same, maybe they needed a little bit more time. And I feel like that may have been a little bit of a struggle. And that is why um, getting here into the relationships portion, Ace of Wands for your love relationships. I feel like there was someone um, that, I feel like, yeah, look at that. We have first emotions of love. I feel like there was someone that you were incredibly attracted for um, and I feel like you really vibed really well together, but maybe they needed a little bit of time to really step into their power because this Ace of Wands is giving me this vibe of like, it ignited, but it never, um, it never fully burned, you know? It, it never really allowed, you never really allowed this seed here to grow. So I do feel like maybe you didn't have any children or um, I, I, I actually, I don't think you did. I don't think you had children. I don't think you had, you built a family or anything like that. Um, I feel like your family were your friends uh, and you had amazing friends here, but I feel like this person needed a little bit of time and you weren't giving that to them. So I would even, it would actually be curious if now in this lifetime was actually the other way around. It was like some sort of karma that needed to be paid um, in a way, it's like you didn't wait for this person and now whoever you're connecting with has to wait for you, you know? Um, or it could be like quite literal. There was someone here that needed a little bit of transformation and um, 
you didn't wait for them and the potential was actually pretty good. And now maybe there is someone that needs a little bit of your patience and the potential could actually be pretty good. Okay, because what you're building here, what you're planting here is actually something solid. It's actually sol something long-term and stable, okay? Um, and I kind of feel like this person just needs a little bit of time. And this person at a time, they just need a little bit of time. We have beauty and happiness. Uh, a thing of beauty is the joy forever with hibiscus. So I really feel like you were so attracted to one another. And more than that, I feel like when you talked, I feel like you were so beautiful and you really connected, you really loved one another. Um, but again, first emotions of love, it never really got to anything more than first emotions. You know, it just stayed there, it died. Um, the feelings died immediately um, because I feel like this person possibly wasn't ready. But I feel like they were super attractive, by the way. <laughs> and um, I feel like they were also, I feel like in a way they could, not necessarily a player, but I feel like they could definitely be like a little bit of a, I don't know, like a bad boy <laughs> or something like that. But um, they were actually a pretty awesome person, I, I would say. So getting here into family, yeah, look at that. We have dangerous pleasure. So it's almost like they are family, they are your blood. And so letting them go, I feel like it was hard. I feel like it was really, really hard. But you just knew that it was not good for you. They would not understand you. And I do feel like they were um, possibly quite toxic. And I don't think that everyone was, everyone in your family, you know? So I feel like with this rainbows and messages, it's almost like you still kept a little bit of contact with some of your family members. But I feel like, for example, your parents, they possibly were not good. Um, and you just like, I, I feel like you, you um, created some walls and you avoided to be near them because you knew that you wouldn't be, you wouldn't feel okay near them. And so I feel like your childhood possibly wasn't the best. Um, and, and that's why you had to possibly grow up very, very quickly. And you had to, you know, make yourself, you have to be, you had to be brave. I feel you had to really step forward and become the person that you wanted to be at that exact moment, very young. And you did it. You did it. And that's why I feel like you had so much faith in yourself. It's because you knew, you know, I've been through this. I have transformed. I've, I got out of here. I earned, I've earned my place in the world. I've earned my spot of power. I've learned, I've earned my spot of people looking up to me because I know I can help those people get out of those places. So um, I really feel like you were so inspiring um, to others. And uh, I even feel like to your siblings, you were inspiring because I feel like your siblings actually never really got out of this household. And I feel like they always dreamt of getting out, but they, I feel like they never really did, but they would always look up to you and be like, huh, oh, man, I wish I was dead, like Gemini Cancer, you know? Um, but yeah. So when it comes to your friends, we have the Ten of Cups here, which is the happily ever after. We also have, oh, that is interesting. We have uh, red rose with hidden secrets. Uh, three, three things cannot be hidden, the sun, the moon, and the truth. And honestly, I feel like you gossiped a lot. <laughs> uh, we have love at first sight and proud spirit. I would even say that this was like a bestie from childhood or something like that, but I do feel like you gossiped a lot. And it's like, there is nothing that you would know that your bestie wouldn't know. And there is nothing that your bestie would know that you wouldn't know. And maybe there is actually a relationship here in your life. Um, it could, I'm actually hearing that it could be a sibling for some of you, not a, a bestie in this lifetime, but maybe a sibling. Um, and it, it, it's just like there is so much compassion between the two of you and so much, um, I don't know, it's just like, I would even say that you knew exactly what the other person was thinking. Uh, and you would get along so well. Uh, I feel like you could have actually had like a big group circle um, or friend circle, but it's like there was one specific person that was really close to you. And I do feel like it was from childhood or something like that. And it's like they, 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 they've watched you grow. They've watched you get out of this situation. So they were really proud of you and they, they knew how to support you. They knew what you went through. And so they understood you better than anyone else. Um, you could have actually had kind of similar um, similar backgrounds and that's why you related so much, 
but or maybe like similar in different ways. Maybe this was about a family member, or for them it was about maybe they've also lost family members, but in a physical way. You know, maybe some family members died or something like that, and. Because of that, you both had to grow up very quickly, and so I feel like you, you just, you vibed really well together. And from that point forward, it's like the friends that you would make, it was like you two were making friends together. It's like there's no my friends and your friends, no, like we're, we're all besties here. <laughs> and I feel like the biggest bond was definitely with that person. And there was so much love, like red roses are a symbol of love, so. Um, and it's almost like the sun, the moon, and the truth. Uh, three things cannot be hidden, the sun, the moon, and the truth. Like, one was the sun, the other one was the moon. Possibly, you could have, well, you could have been dealing with a Leo at the time. Um, but it's like, that person was the sun, you were the moon, and then the, the truth was the love for one another, you know? And it was just like, magic. <laughs> it was really beautiful. So, let's get here a couple more cards for your struggles. Um, and accomplishments. So seven of pentacles there in your struggles. Yeah, so we have the six of swords. It's definitely that thing of moving forward. Um, I don't necessarily feel that it is about like actually walking away. I feel like it's the walking away that it, it caused the struggle um, because I feel like there was something beautiful that could grow from here and it could it could have been awesome. It could have been really amazing. And yeah, look at that. We have the three cups. So reconciliation in this case. You know, you also have justice, things balancing out, and we have the king of swords. So there is this beautiful energy between the um, queen and king. You know, it's like you were perfect matches at the time, and now you're possibly dealing with someone that is a perfect match. And it's about having just a little bit of patience. Um, and trusting that, you know, if, if they're the one, they're, they're going to do their healing and they're going to come back to me. Um, and everything is going to unfold exactly how it's supposed to. Okay. Um, I also feel like this could be, at the time, I don't think in this past life, I don't think it was career related. But for you, it could also be about career. It could be about you planting a lot of seeds and not really... Uh, allowing them to grow so starting a lot of projects starting a lot like changing your mind a bunch of times in your career and not really not necessarily not putting in the effort but not giving a chance a chance to actually grow into something bigger okay so take that however it resonates i feel like you will know what um fits for you but it could actually be both but yeah so let's take a look here at your accomplishments what you've learned. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. So we have the Ace of Cups clarifying the death card and then we have the Empress. You really learned how to be there for yourself. You really learned how to open your heart to the world and to create a new world for yourself. And you have that power within you now, okay? So don't be afraid to use it. Don't be afraid to create a new reality for yourself. Don't be afraid to really dream big and know your worth you knew your worth that was something that you've learned at that time so know your worth okay that is something that is already in you don't be afraid to speak your mind don't be afraid to be who you are right this in this past life you were a badass that is something that you've learned and that is still with you in this lifetime so you are a badass it's in your dna please use it okay so, woo, uh, let's pull here some advice for you. It's time to release negativity, yeah? Embrace the badassery, <laughs> if that is even a word. I'm pretty sure it's not, but um, embrace the badass within you. We also have here, the energy is gaining momentum. Look at the bigger picture. We have a card that fell to the ground. It's time for healing, and let's get one more. Right. Ooh, okay, two more apparently. Nothing is yet set in stone. And ooh, look at that, prosperity lies ahead. So I do feel like there is this thing of like, it's time to release negativity. For some of you, maybe this is not about a relationship. It's actually about career. And prosperity lies ahead in that place, okay? Also, embrace that badass and trust that there is prosperity in your career. Trust that you're really getting into that place. Um, and any struggles that you're going through, heal them learn the lesson in them and move forward. Because 
look at the bigger picture, is really giving this vibe of like, that hiccup, that struggle, that challenge that you're going through right now, it's just a little small thing in the big picture of your whole life. And it's not going to influence anything. You're the one, the one, the only one that is influencing your life and your path and your movement forward. It's like you can either stop and give up or you can keep walking. You can have that perseverance from this past life uh, self, you know, keep fighting, trust yourself, trust your intuition and trust that the energy is getting momentum and prosperity really lies ahead, okay? This prosperity lies ahead could obviously be also about love, okay? So if for those of you that um, that thing of giving up, it is about love, then that relationship can actually lead to something long-term and lasting, okay? So try and figure out what is this hiccup trying to teach me? Where should I focus my healing towards right now? And I do feel like there is a little bit of negativity. There is a little bit of like trust and believe in yourself, believe in what um, your dream life can be and what you can accomplish in your life, okay? So Gemini Cancer, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated, hope it helped, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, don't forget to smash like button and to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, there is going to be a link down below for the five-year journal and also for private reading if you want to dive a little deeper into any of these areas. And I think that's it. So I love you very much. Um, I wish you the freaking best and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.